The limo jet is a Learjet fuselage uh, that has been retrofitted into a vehicle and it's street legal and one of the only ones on the planet. So I tell people all the time I was either smart enough or dumb enough to kind of jump headfirst into the project. My name is Frank D'Angelo. I'm one of the owners of Jet Setter Incorporated, and behind me I have the limo jet. Uh, I've always had a passion for cars. Uh, it really started when I was in the lim limousine business. I owned a company called Exotic Coach, and we would custom and create some of the craziest limos on the planet. And then when I was approached with this idea, it made logical sense. It's 42 feet long, you know, it's 11 feet 6 inches high, it's about 8 feet wide, and it's about 12,000 pounds. So we'll start on this side. One of the most popular things that people look at right away are the wheels and tires. So we have a set of Diablo rims and tires, 28 inch, um, with the custom fenders that were fabricated from fiberglass made for the jet. So there's a little bit of a lot of different vehicles, uh, not just engine wise, but um, suspension wise. A lot of the parts that we made were custom. So you know the springs were custom made. Uh, a lot of the suspension came from the one ton pickup truck that we had. Uh, some of the lighting came from Jeep and other lights came from, you know, we custom made. So it's probably three or four different types of vehicles that have been married into this one. Uh, we spent well over a million dollars to get it to where it's at. Um, you would start it like a regular car. So you put in the key, start it, crank it up, and you drive it like a regular car. You got your gas, you got your brake. Uh, these four panels here is the video system that we have. So we have cameras on the fenders, front left. We have cameras in the back on the engine so you can actually see everything that's going on in the back. And then we have all the toggle switches to give it a little bit of an aircraft feel. So all the light, disco lighting, disco floor, all the exterior lighting, everything is controlled from here, just like you would a regular aircraft. The interior was a lot more difficult, so, so we manufacture limousines is what we did for a living. We knew it was gonna be a little tricky because this was unique um, and the, everything's curved. So we couldn't use any templates or we couldn't go off anything. We had to hand make everything. We start with the disco ceiling up here. We did it this way so that when people ride in, they can see that you're really in a jet fuselage. So we put some custom plexiglass pieces. We lit it up with some LED lightings. Um, people really get a kick out of that and it keeps the feel of the limo jet. We have the big screen TV in the back with the sound system. We have the infinity floor, which was a nice touch. People love it, right? So if you look down inside of it, you can come and step inside. It looks like you're uh, old school married with new school. Eight passengers is the capacity in the back plus the driver. So we kind of say nine passengers. Um, people can drive in it, but we're using it more for promotional. I'm going to go ahead and raise these flaps over here on this side with you over here. So if you take a look in the back, we're going to show you some of the sound. We have two separate sound systems. So we have an interior and we have an exterior and it, it booms pretty good. You have your 12 inch subwoofer in here. Inside, this is basically just a giant speaker box at the end of the day. Um, we integrated these flaps over here to open up. You have speaker, subwoofer, speaker, speaker, subwoofer, speaker. So we wanted a little bit of afterburner look in here without putting the real fire inside of it. So that it can either blink to look like a real afterburner or you can just keep them on straight with nothing on over here. Um, uh, regular gasoline, right? So we've got a gasoline engine, goes in right there. We have a regular tank from our donor vehicle that goes right into the back. Same thing around this side. Yeah, and our engine fits right under there. Um, so I, my guess, we haven't hit top speed, maybe we'll do that today. Uh, top speed is probably a little bit over 100. I mean, a, you know, any, any V8 engine is gonna hit 140, 150, but this weighs over 12,000 pounds, so. You know, my goal probably is not to reach top speed, to be honest with you, but it can go pretty fast. It's like driving something I've never drove before. I mean, it's like driving the coolest semi-truck ever built. Get ready for takeoff.
Can't go too far on this runway. But you get the point. It is, you know, everything's for sale. I mean, our whole ultimate goal with this one, this is our prototype. So for me to reproduce more, it's all based upon this one. Right. Um, our goal is to make more of them. We love to manufacture more on a custom. So if somebody wanted one, we're pretty sure they're going to want it done their way. Um, you know, if they wanted this one, all the research and development that went into this, somebody would have to offer me over five million. You know, our ultimate goal is to build more, and we'd like to make them, you know, a unique type of experience. Right. There won't be many of them because it takes so long to produce but it's definitely something that, that we are targeting for. And I don't have any regrets, even though it took a long time, um, I'm happy that we're here now.